What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. So in today's video we're going to look at uh, how we can use two collection views inside of one view controller. So we're just going to create a new Xcode project and a single view application. I'm just going to call it something like two views to make it simple. And we'll create. Okay, so now that we're inside of Xcode, um, it's really, it's pretty easy. It's really setting up um, two collection views separate of each other. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's jump into our main dot storyboard. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to drag in two collection views right into the center of our view here. So we'll drag in the second one, and we'll just center them like this. So we're going to click on our first one, and we're going to control drag and set our data source and our delegate. And we're going to do the same for our second one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the editor, and we're going to control drag and create two outlets for each of the collection views. So I'm going to call the first one just C view. And I'll call the second one C view two. So now we have our references for both our collection views here. And so while we're at it, I'm just going to click on this first collection view cell and go over here. And I'm just going to set the uh, identifier to cell. And I'll do something similar to for the second one. I'll just say cell two. And now I'm going to come over here and right click and add two new files. And they're going to be of type UI collection view so. So I'm just going to call this first one collection view so. And create. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second so. So another uh, subclass of UI collection view so. And this time I'll just call it collection view so too. And create this one as well. So now let's go back into storyboard. And I'm going to click on our first so here and set its class to collection view cell, and then click on our second cell and set the class to collection view cell two, just like that. And for now, that's basically what we need to do inside a storyboard. It's gonna be pretty simple for our tutorial. So let's just hop into our view controller and let's first add our UI collection view data source and delegate. All right, so that'll give us access to the methods that we need. So now we can say number of items in section. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna say return five. So what this is gonna do is it's just gonna return five for our very first collection view, so collection view one. But say we wanna return uh, you know, 10 for our collection view two. So we can say something like if collection view is equal to C view two, open and close brackets, then we'll just return 10. So what this is doing here is it's saying if this collection view, which is created right here, this variable, so if that collection view is equal to our second collection view, then instead of returning this five, it's gonna return 10. So basically, um, if we would run this now, our top collection view would return five items and our second one would return 10. So let's go down here and we need to do cell for item at index path. So it's to say let so equal C view dot DQ reusable so and the identifier if you remember was just so and index path and we'll cast it as our collection view so. Then we can say so dot background color is equal to UI color dot red. And then I'll just come down here and return that cell. So now we have our cell set up for our first collection view and it's gonna just set the background of each cell to red. But now we wanna set up the cell for our second collection view. So we can say if collection view is equal to C view two, then open and close brackets. We'll say let cell two equal to C view two dot DQ reusable cell. And this time our identifier was cell two. And again for index path. And this time we'll cast it as collection view cell two. Then we can say cell two dot background color is equal to UI color dot blue. And then we can just return cell two. So basically what this is doing, it's very similar to up here. It's just checking if our collection view variable here is equal to the second one. And if it is, it's creating the second cell variable here, and that's equal to our second cell in our collection view because of this identifier here. 
And then we're simply just setting the background of that cell to the, a blue color just so we can see it. So let's go up here and we can run it. All right, so now you can see here that our top collection view, so our collection view one is just returning five like it should right here. And then our second one is returning 10, which is correct. And it has a blue background inside of this red. So there you go, guys. Like I said, it's pretty simple, um, which is with a few caveats. And you just need to remember to check if uh, this collection view variable in each one of these methods here is equal to the second collection view. And if it is, this return a different value than the original one. I hope that helps guys and I'll catch you next time.